As of 2022, 42% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their bank account. 50% of women have no retirement savings by age 55 to 66. 62% of women have less than $1,000 in their savings account. The reason why I'm sharing this is because I feel like a lot of my people are struggling. They're trying to figure out ways to make side money, passive income, they're trying to start businesses. But at the end of the day, we know what's going on. We know that people don't have savings. They don't have capital to start businesses. The reason why I started my channel is because you can create content online, you build an audience, and then you're able to capitalize off of your passion projects. If you're working a full-time job and you're trying to make some extra income, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to capitalize on having a smartphone. If you have a smartphone, you're gonna be able to make money. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about YouTube, the platform and some updates. Uh, first of all, uh, YouTube is coming out with handles. So basically like Instagram and TikTok, you're gonna be able to actually have a handle and it's gonna be much easier for creators to tag people, mention people. The reason why YouTube is doing this is because they came out with a new platform called YouTube Shorts. Basically, you're gonna be able to see vertical short form content very similar to Instagram Reels, very similar to TikTok. They're dividing long form content and they're creating another form of content, which is shorts. So it's vertical, you're gonna be able to scroll, kind of look at all the trendy new dances, things of that nature. But I'm here to share with you that short form content is here to stay. And you wanna be able to take advantage of a new platform that's emphasizing an algorithmic feed. So I have YouTube up right now, and as you can tell, um, you know, there's long form content and I can click on it. This is a 15 minute video. But right here, you're gonna notice something new. You're gonna notice that there's short form content now. So now when you scroll up, it's very similar to Instagram Reels. It's very similar to TikTok. You can thumbs up it, you can comment. And so what's happening is, the reason why Handles is coming out is because it's a business model that works. YouTube is one of the biggest search engines. Now you have the power of short form content and a search engine for you to grow your audience. This is gonna be massive, so I would highly recommend anybody that hasn't picked up a camera or hasn't picked up a smartphone because if you have a smartphone you do have a camera and you're making excuses pick up your phone pick up your camera and start recording this is probably one of the biggest opportunities for you to grow an audience to capitalize on your audience and then eventually sell a product get sponsorships you sell your own info product right maybe you start a business and you want to you know, teach people how to do something, or maybe you're an online trainer, you can start your personal training business. This is a huge opportunity and you need to start right now. Now I'm gonna share some tips with you on what you should do to grow your audience on YouTube. So what I would recommend is recording two to three vertical videos and distributing them on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and now Shorts. So do that like two or three times a week and then save the long form content to maybe once or twice a week. When it comes to creating short form content, now you have three major platforms that will allow you to post short form content. You have number one, you have Instagram, you have TikTok, and now you have YouTube. So you have three opportunities to literally showcase yourself to the world potentially go viral, build your audience, and then eventually monetize. The whole purpose of building an audience is to make money, like, right? Like, this is probably why you're watching this video. And if you do have a special interest, right, and you know your niche, whether it's yoga, whether it's boxing, whether it's talking about day trading, DIY, whether it's talking about painting, right? Everyone is searching on YouTube on how to do something, right? And so if you do have passion, right, you don't actually have to be an expert. Just share the knowledge you know, and I promise you, you're gonna have people subscribing because it's something that they learned from you. You know, I'm not trying to be somebody that I'm not. I only talk about things that I know, right? So I've been in the marketing and advertising industry for over 10 years now, and I've also been day trading for four and a half years. So, you know, my niche is basically revenue, right? Personal finance, YouTube growth, monetization, things of that nature.
you might not have that much time to actually get into YouTube and create that much content. So, you know, if you're new to YouTube, I would highly recommend posting at least one 10 minute video. That way you can create value and share with them that you're a product knowledge expert or maybe you're an industry expert or maybe you have a specialized passion that no one really talks about. So if you can break down your niche, I would highly recommend getting into it now, create at least a 10 minute video. That way you can take advantage of ad revenue, right? Because the whole point of making videos on YouTube is to give back to your community. But number two, obviously you, you wanna make money as well, right? So those ads that play before your YouTube video starts and you have to skip it, everyone that has an ad playing before their YouTube video starts is making money. If you have a 10 minute video, there are also other ads in the middle of the video that YouTubers get paid for. So that's why I'm recommending for you to make at least a 10 minute video when you do long form content. Utilize specific keywords in your titles and your description. That way you can optimize not only your video, but now you can optimize people searching for hashtags. I'm telling you, YouTube is turning into a social media platform, right? Well, it is a social media platform already, but it's more geared towards search. But now that they have YouTube Shorts, you can look up hashtags and you can also mention people. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. Basically what it means is optimizing your keywords, right? So if you're talking about how to build a bigger booty, right? And you're doing a booty blast program, uh, you wanna be able to incorporate booty in your title and then you also want to incorporate how to build a bigger booty in the description. This is just an example, so that way you get the idea. I do use TubeBuddy. Um, if you don't know anything about TubeBuddy, I'll provide the link in the description below. It's a free software. I use the paid program because I take TubeBuddy and YouTube serious, but it's gonna give you ideas and characters and keywords, uh, and they're gonna be able to actually help you optimize your YouTube video so you get found on YouTube much faster and your YouTube grows much quicker. So another pro tip is collabing with other people in your industry, right? YouTube is also a social media platform, so I would recommend collabing with other people that are in your industry. So if you're a personal trainer and you want to grow your audience, collaborate with somebody, work out with them, and then tag them on your YouTube video, right? The person that you're collabing with, their audience will be able to discover your videos and now there's a little bit of cross-pollination going on and now you have the opportunity to even get more subscribers. So collaboration is very, very important. Um, I would recommend collabing as soon as possible. Don't be shy. Just pick up your phone if you don't have a camera, start recording. If you're highly excited about starting a channel, do me a huge favor. After you're done watching this video, pick up your phone and record a personal diary right now. Do a one minute, uh, do a 60 second video and just do a personal diary of like what's going on in your life today. And if you can do that, post it because that is gonna take you to the ne next level, right? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have the best software. Just post your first video and continue to do it consistently. You'll find your lane, you'll find your passion, and all of these new little skills that will come over time will come over time, but you gotta post your first video. So those are all the tips that I have for you. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment in this video below. Um, I'm gonna provide TubeBuddy, which is a software to help you optimize your videos. And then also I'll provide my Instagram link in the description below. So if you do have any YouTube related uh, questions, go ahead and DM me and I'll definitely help you out. That's all I got guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.